Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at how to import files into Premiere. Okay, once you've got your Premiere loaded up, first thing you do is you go to File, scroll down the options to import. You can also go to Import Files if you wish, but if you gain a clean new file, go to Import File. Now, once you've got that, you just look for your specific file. I think mine's in the desktop. Uh, there we go. Once you've selected it, press OK, highlighted, and then it, it appears right there. Now you've got a lot of nifty options here. You can, you've got the information bar tells you everything about the video, frames per second, hertz. There's always audio on some piece of um, video depending on what you use. If you use a video recorder, yes. If you use a mobile device, it usually has it records it automatically. So you have to be wary of that. Just in case you start swearing in the middle of the video. Now, what that button there does, it'll give you a preview of what the video entails in that small thumbnail there. Also, there's also a post up frame button, which I've never used, really usually highlighted or used before. So, if I click on that. But anyway, if you wanted to, you could re highlight the name, say in the park. Instead of all those numbers. If you've got multiple videos in, it's best to do this. There we go, just press that. That is there. It'll be still the same video. And all you have to do if you want to edit it, highlight it click on it, drag it to the first video, that's going to be your main video there and you can also let's just one second there we go, fit it to the screen there by clicking I'll go down the browser button and click into how much you want, you can go to 100% you can go to fit, or just make it fit to the screen now, that seems too small to work with so let's click on the plus button which it should be right next to your backspace key so if you go there it'll start zooming in but if you can't find that say for instance I don't know whichever computer you're using from you can click on this and it'll do exactly the same job you can go across the timeline there via that scroll key and you can also use your number timeline sheet there nifty little trick is if you're looking for a sp certain specific time say seven seconds for seven and I'll bring you should bring you back on on to seven there we go bring you around to seven more computers just acting a bit slow there and there you can work from whichever time you want to if you are thinking okay then I want to add some sound to it, some music to it but there seems to be an audio, tra audio track right there and I think I highlighted in the first video some of the tools you have I don't know where I've misplaced them, they should be here somewhere let's, let's bring them up, constantly find them, it seems like they're being, they have been highlighted so they're around here somewhere Here we go, they're just down here, I just can barely see them. See so I drag them a bit too much now I've dragged them off the screen. I'm currently using a dual screen uh connected laptop to a laptop right now, so you might think oh, okay then it's a little bit gonna be a pear shaped so So we've got the tools there. Now the video's gone missing because I've probably done something that you shouldn't do. Yep. Everything's gone a bit backwards, so give me one second. Now that's been there. That's on there. Okay. We've got a fit to screen. We've got our tools here. Now we've got the razor tool that's going to help us cut things down and what you'll see is it not just cuts it down it cuts right through 
and you can move that around you can click on that arrow key that's point to the right then or drag everything to the right and anywhere you want say you want to remove that but you still want to keep the video so you want to delete the audio but you still want to keep the video you right click on it the audio and then you go to unlink once you've unlinked it it's totally gone you can get rid of it gone you can add whatever music you want that to that section now this technically should still be grouped together because once i cut it it made it into a second section of the video and you do the same for that so you have to be careful for what you can see and what you can't see you can see the waveforms of the audio also here so if you want to mess with the audio if you just slowly toggle over it let's get a better look at this you can barely see it because there's not much sound in there just some background sound so if we zoom out play that you can press space and then we'll play the sound what we should do yes and it does the computer's running it really slow but it should does play it's only an 8 second clip so looking at that there's not much sound there but say if you want to say if you want to um, take the sound out you could just delete the whole sound for some overlapping sound or you can mess with the effects monitor which we're going to show later on in one of the other videos it's going to be over there thank you that's it for today thanks